science, chemistry, compounds and mixtures. Reviewer number 02. This is a reviewer in chemistry, specifically on the topic of compounds and mixtures. There are 10 reviewer questions featured in this video. Before you proceed, please take time to read the following disclaimer. Let's begin. Question number one. What is a compound? A. A compound is two or more substances combined. B. A compound is two or more ions combined. C. A compound is two or more elements combined. D. A compound is two or more atoms combined. The correct answer is C. A chemical compound is a chemical substance composed of many identical molecules, or molecular entities, composed of atoms from more than one element held together by chemical bonds. Question number 2. A blank is two or more substances combined. A. Compound. B. Element. C. Matter. D. Atom. E. Mixture. The correct answer is E. In chemistry, a mixture is a material made up of two or more different substances which are mixed. A mixture refers to the physical combination of two or more substances in which the identities are retained and are mixed in the form of solutions, suspensions and colloids. Question number 3. A mixture cannot be separated by way of A. Heating B. Filtration C. Distillation D. Any of the above E. None of the above The correct answer is A. Filtration and distillation are examples of ways to separate mixtures. Heating is not a way to separate mixtures. Question number 4. Which of the following is a compound? A. Salt. B. Gold. C. Helium. D. A cup of coffee. E. Sand and gravel. The correct answer is A. The word salt is a general chemical term that refers to ionic compounds formed when an acid reacts with a base. It includes table salt which is sodium chloride, a chemical compound with the formula NaCl. Gold and helium are chemical elements. Coffee and sand and gravel are mixtures. Question number 5. Mixtures can be separated by way of filtration. True or false? The correct answer is true. Mixtures can be separated by filtration and distillation, among other ways. Question number 6. Which of the following is not a mixture? A. Lemonade. B. Coffee and cream. C. Water. D. Ice cream. E. Concrete. The correct answer is C. Water. Water is a chemical compound consisting of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The name water typically refers to the liquid state of the compound. The solid phase is known as ice and gas phase is called steam. The rest are all mixtures. Question number 7. The physical and chemical properties of compounds differ from those of their constituent elements. True or false? The correct answer is true. The physical and chemical properties of compounds differ from those of their constituent elements. This is one of the main criteria that distinguish a compound from a mixture of elements or other substances. In contrast, a mixture's properties are closely related to, and depend on, the properties of its constituents. Question number 8. Compounds cannot be separated. True or false? The correct answer is false. A compound is chemically combined and can also be separated by chemical processes. However, it is much harder to separate a compound than a mixture. Question number 9. The three classifications of mixtures are A. Solid, liquid, gas B. Homogeneous, heterogeneous, amorphous C. Smooth, coarse, fluid D. Solution, colloid, suspension E. None of these The correct answer is D. Solution, colloid, suspension. Mixtures can be classified into three types. Suspension mixture, colloidal mixture or solution, according to how they combine and can be separated. 
Suspension mixtures have larger solute particles, colloidal mixtures have much smaller particles, and particles in a solutions completely dissolve into the solvent. Question number 10. A blank is a heterogeneous mixture containing solid particles that are sufficiently large for sedimentation. A. Solution. B. Suspension. C. Colloid. D. Solvent. E. Alloy. The correct answer is B. Suspension. In chemistry, a suspension is a heterogeneous mixture that contains solid particles sufficiently large for sedimentation. The particles may be visible to the naked eye, usually must be larger than 1 micrometer, and will eventually settle. How did you fare in this short test? Did you get at least 80% of the correct answers? Don't worry too much if you did not do so well, just keep on reviewing. Watch this video and take the short test again sometime in the near future until you get a perfect score every time. Check out our other available science reviewer videos and playlists. Please like if you find this reviewer video useful. Feel free to share it too. Don't forget to subscribe to Review Central channel on YouTube so you won't miss out on newly published reviewer videos and playlists.